just in case you don't believe me when I say we got a lot of rain. <laughs> Even the lake is flooded. <laughs> Look at that. We had a lot of rain. I mean, I don't know how much rain is normal here. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, yeah. I thought it was just a couple feet flooded. Can you see that? The dock going out. It's, everything is flooded. It was a lot of rain. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Even this giant lake is flooded. We had a lot of rain. I felt better. I might rent a kayak. Yay, I'm so happy it's clearing up. Hopefully I get a good view of Franz Joseph Glacier today. And is it just me or are these painted triangles on the road extremely confusing? To me, the point should be in the direction in the flow of traffic and it's the opposite. Confuses me every time I see one. sky and absolutely gorgeous country. Oh, it's a great day for driving a camper van. <laughs> Look at these rivers. This reminds me a little bit of Alaska. The really big, wide, rushing rivers with the mountains. I think after a while when you travel enough everything starts kind of looking like nothing is completely original. It's beautiful though. This looks like an abandoned neighborhood or something down here. Wow. Of course I want to go explore. But it says do not enter, it says dangerous, so I think I won't. I wonder if the, it was a neighborhood and just got flooded out too many times? I'm not sure. <laughs> Leave it to me. Uh, I can't stay on the main roads. No. I have to go explore. <laughs> well, bummer. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere interesting. There's like a work area down here with uh, rock, like a uh, quarry, you know, like a gravel pit. And uh, people are working and there's some four wheelers around. So I think I'll just turn around. New Zealand I've been looking for. Still pretty foggy but that right there is pretty cool. That's what I imagine New Zealand to be. And the fog's burning off. I'm gonna be going, um, I'm on the coast now and then I'm gonna be circling back up on the other side of those mountains on the inland scenic route. I'm hoping that Maybe by the time I'm on the other side, the weather will clear up and I'll get some better views. But, um, you know, right now I'm just taking it. 
just it's a different uh, different experience of uh, New Zealand than I expected but it's kind of allowing me to just kind of slow down I had a nice day yesterday just resting reading doing postcards so you know it's all good it's beautiful I'm in New Zealand Oh goody, another one lane bridge and another one with a wood bottom. It doesn't really feel all that safe, <laughs> but I'm sure it is. Seriously? I can drive to the fucking glacier? Are you kidding me? Looks like this parking lot is full. Hopefully, I can find parking somewhere. Look at all the camper vans. Oh, wow, even an RV that looks like an American RV. Yeah, a lot of camper vans on the road, a lot of rentals, mostly rentals. Oh cool, another whole section and there's plenty of spaces. Awesome! Such a short walk to Franz, was it Franz Joseph Glacier. I'm really glad I didn't stop in town and uh, jump on a helicopter ride like I was thinking about doing because just like right out of town, I saw the road going out to the glacier. And I think it was like three kilometers it said to the road out to the glacier and uh, big parking lot. And so now I'm on my little walk. I can't believe how cold it is. <laughs> you know, I was wondering, you know, I mean, it's been humid and warm even with the rain. I'm like, how does a glacier still exist out here? But I don't feel like I climbed that much and it's pretty cool. Got my uh, puppy on and I have my rain jacket tied around my waist, which I think I'm gonna have to put on here in a minute. Could have wore a hat too. Oh, what's going on? Oh. There is some construction, some like cutting down trees, and I saw some washouts on the trail already. And there's warnings of flooding. Yeah, was this pretty serious rainstorm apparently we've had the last couple of days. So I'm looking forward to getting. Oh my God! Look at this! Look at this! Look! Look at that! Five waterfalls from here. Whoa, amazing! End of the walk. You can barely see the glacier back there. 
So maybe a helicopter ride wouldn't be a bad idea. You'll probably see it better when there's no fog. Well, there's a couple more hikes down by the parking lot, so I think I might go on one more, maybe along the river, I think. Okay, I'm walking along the trail, and there's a big blob of ice. <laughs> That's very strange. wonder where it came from. Ka Roamata a Hine Pukatere, the Friends Joseph Glacier. Don't know how that pronunciation was, but it was fun to try. Uh, this is this is the native story behind the glacier. Tears of the Avalanche Girl. Hine Hukatera, meaning the Avalanche Girl, was an adventurous Maori woman who loved mountaineering above all other activities. Her lover, Tawe, was not as fond of climbing as his sweetheart, but Hine's powers of persuasion were strong and Tawe often climbed with her up in the mountains. On one such adventure, Tawe slipped at the head of this valley and plunged to his death. Hine's tears were so many that they flooded the valley and were frozen by the gods as a memorial of her grief. I love this story. <laughs> it's about an adventurous mountaineering woman losing her lover. Awesome. Great story. Look at how crystal clear this water is. So clear. Just, I had to stop. I'm driving by it. And just the power and the strength and the force of this is insane. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That is a lot of energy right there. That's a lot of water power. Wow. And it's got that silty glacier color. So this is all runoff from the glacier. Well, in the rain. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we could see of Franz Joseph Glacier. It wasn't much, but the surrounding area was well worth the trip. I hope you enjoyed the Maori folklore that came with it. That was the highlight of the trip for me. And I've got a lot more New Zealand to come, so be sure to subscribe below. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah!